Hi, I'm Eric Norris, and this is Gabe here at the Thumbnail Ranch, where we do most of our stuff ourselves. Let's tune into our channel each day and uh, look for new videos on how altogether home maintenance, um, anything you can think of. Come to our channel, and we'll probably have it posted sooner or later. Thank you. Thank you for subscribing. Say bye, Gabe. He'll be growing with us. Hi, I'm Eric. We're going to put a dishwasher in today. Um, this is the dishwasher. This is the opening it's going into. This is all new construction here, so usually on a dishwasher change out, everything's there, but in this case, we're going to have to cut the holes. So we're going to take a hole saw and we're going to drill a hole up here. This is going to be for the, for the drain. The drain is going to come through the top. Okay, there's our dishwasher drain, drain hose. Now we're going to have to drill another one on the bottom for the water line. Okay, we use a smaller hole for the dishwasher hose, which this is all automatic. It's all pre-made, pre-cut. This is a compression end. We're just making a hole big enough for this to go through. And it's going to be down at the bottom. Actually, I'm going to do it from this side because it's easier. goes on the faucet. I'm going to push it through from this side. There it is. Okay, we're going to hook to the hot side because the dishwasher needs hot. Hot is always on your left. Let's put it right there. And that makes up the connection for the for the water line, water supply line for the dishwasher. Okay, inside the new dishwasher comes all the hose that you're going to need. Take all the packaging out because you don't want to want And you're going to have a plate here. Off, this will gain access to all your, all your hookups. Here's everything you need for, to hook up the dishwasher. This is just your two wires. It's like hooking up a lamp. Just two wires in the ground. Drain hose. We're going to push it through the top hole, and it's going to go down like that, okay? We're going to pull it out here, come over on this side, team. Okay, here is the dishwasher drain hose. It's attached to the unit. It goes up and makes an air pocket so that the water won't drain unless the pump is on. Okay, I'm going to take this piece here, put a clamp on it. Slide that into there. And go show how it, how it goes up the wall there, Tim. It hooks into the sink, and I'll show you that part later. We're ready to slide it in. Just push it in. that all into there. This is a uh, sound covering that keeps the dishwasher from making a lot of noise. Push it in until it's where you want it to be. Make sure your controls are accessible. The old style was all on the front. The new, new ones are on the top here. Okay, come down here. We're gonna, we're gonna pin this in. We're gonna level this out with these legs. These all all have legs on them. Okay, this dishwasher is set up for the old style, which used to screw in like this. We're not going to use this part here. This is compression. 
It doesn't generally require a sealer, but I'm going to put some on it anyway. You want to make sure these are that this is tight because this is where it's going to leak at if it's going to leak. The water supply valve. And you want to make sure not to cross thread this because, again, if you do, you'll have a leak. We can push most of this hose back in the back out of the way. And then make sure your fittings are tight. Okay. Channel locks. Just tighten this up. Okay, again, you don't want to tighten this too tight because these are plastic fittings and they will crack. Okay, the dish, the water supply and the drain is hooked up. Now all we have is the electricity, which goes over to this box here. You always want to make sure the power's off before you uh, hook up any wires. Make sure your power is off. I've already flipped the main breaker on the house, so I know it's off. Because you can, you can, you can create a havoc by touching these together. Okay, there we are, bared. Get rid of this floppy part here. Okay, you put your nut on the back. And you feed your wires through. I'll run them up before I get them into the box. Okay, now your cable is secured in the sheath. You push it back through. Remember I put the nut on before on the other part of the wire? It is back here chasing away from me. Push that back in there like that. And then you can spin that nut from behind and tighten it up. And that gives you a good secure electrical connection. You want to take the ground wire and it goes to the screw right there and you tighten it up behind the deal the nut, then you screw it in, tighten it up and you've got a good ground. Okay, now we're just going to take a couple of wire nuts. You always want to go white to white, white on white, and that makes sure that your ground is going to stay proper, and you wire nut them together. And again, black to black. There's a good connection here. Black on black, white on white, ground to the ground, which grounds back to the house. You tuck all that back in inside the box, and then we're going to put the cover back on it. Okay, your cover has two little tabs right here, right there, that drop into that box. They hook right there. washer hose. If you look and see that this part here, it's made for two different sizes. This is the side that would go on if it was going to hook onto a disposer, but we don't need that part, so we're going to cut that off. Okay, now we have the smaller part. This is what fits onto that there, is that right there. So we put a basic hose clamp on it, and this will fit right on that and give you a good waterproof seal. And you just tighten it up. I'm going to use my handy dandy pocket knife here. You just snug that up and you're done.
This is going to be for the ice maker line. It's quarter inch. It's on the cold side, which is going to go that way. And you holes in the cabinet to go through. Okay, film on the inside. Now we wanted this line to go underneath the, the tracks of this drawer so that it doesn't interfere with the drawer. And it's going to hook into this ice maker line right here. We've got our ice maker fittings. These are quarter inch. You put your nut on first, then your ferrule. Slips right over that. Put that in there like that. What that does is that squeezes in there and when you push this nut it squeezes that fitting tight. You want to make sure those are as square as possible because if they go in at an angle they don't want to seal. Tighten it up. Snug it. And that's it. Our ice maker line going to the ice maker. Cut it under the cabinet, and we're going to roll it over here, and it's going to go to this section right here. So, okay, you put the ferrule nut on first, then you put the ferrule on, you leave probably about that much hanging out, and then we're going to go over here to the ice maker, and we're going to hook it up to the ice maker. Again, you want it to come in as straight as possible. So it goes in like that. Run it hand tight, and then again, you just want to snug it. Now, you come back later after you've turned the water on, make sure your connections are not leaking. If they are, you can just give it another quarter of a turn, and that usually takes care of it.